Hey, what's going on guys? Jason from Trillium West here. And this week we are going to be talking a little bit about buyer's markets versus seller's markets. So be sure to check it out. If you like this video, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. And if you want to see these videos as I upload them, be sure to subscribe down below. Let's get into it. Like economic markets do, the housing market is cyclical. Sometimes it's going to lean one way, sometimes it's gonna lean the other way. So what are buyers in sellers markets and what do they mean for you? A seller's market takes place when there is a shortage of properties or an excess of buyers in the market. If there aren't enough properties to satisfy the demand that these buyers are seeking, then these buyers have to compete, make offers more enticing, increase prices in order to get their hands on this little supply. In a buyer's market, on the other hand, there's an excess of properties. So buyers actually have a selection. They can take their time to make their decision. In these situations, the sellers may need to be the ones making considerations to make their property more appealing to the few buyers that are in the market. Now, for the last couple of years in Southern Ontario and in Kitchener-Waterloo here, it's been a very strong seller's market. There has not been a lot of supply on the market for buyers to choose from, and that's why we've been seeing people stack up into multiple offer situations, people clawing, trying to get their hands on those great properties that do hit the market. So let's talk about a couple of features of the seller's market. So in the seller's market, obviously there are fewer properties than there are buyers trying to get into properties, and this leads to a few different things, one of which most people are talking about is an increase in price. Buyers have to increase their offer price in order to make their offers appealing for sellers. In a seller's market, sellers have more negotiating power in general. So this also means not only an increase in price coming from buyers, but probably a little bit more risk taken on by buyers in the form of dropping finance or inspection conditions and kind of dealing with the aftermath if an issue does come up. In a buyer's market, we're seeing a lot more property sit because buyers don't have to be so rushed to get their hands on them. And in general, buyers are gonna have a little bit more negotiating power. So buyers are gonna be the ones who are able to put in conditions maybe on the sale of their own property or longer terms in order to figure out their finances, get inspections done. And in the negotiation itself, they're gonna have more supply to compare their potential property to in order to leverage sort of differences in those properties and negotiating prices. So now you have a basic understanding of what a buyer's market and a seller's market look like. And the final point I wanna make on them today is that these shifts in market strength one way or another takes a while. It's a large scale movement. It's not like one day it's gonna be a buyer's market and in three weeks it's gonna become a seller's in a very black and white kind of way. It's a sliding scale. And one of the traps that I see people falling into all the time is not being informed about really what kind of market they're in right now. So what do these mistakes end up looking like in actuality? So let's say that on this side, we have a strong buyer's market and on this side, we have a strong seller's market. Now for the past couple of years in KW, we've seen a pretty strong seller's market. So we're seeing listings hit the market at significantly higher prices than they may have been the year before. We're seeing people hold offers, anticipate multiple offers, and the marketing strategies are completely based on the fact that the sellers have maybe this extreme, this amount of power and leverage in the negotiations. Now, over the last year or so, we've seen it slide from being a very strong seller's market to a little bit more closer to the middle. And what does that mean for sellers? Well, it means that if sellers are still believing that they have the negotiating power that they had over here, they're gonna run into a really hard time. Their pricing isn't really gonna make sense to the buyers who are now gaining a little bit more negotiating power on this scale. And that leads to sellers becoming very frustrated with how long their home is sitting on the market. It leads to difficulties in the negotiation, let's just say, where sellers believe they have this much power and buyers maybe believe they have this much power when in actuality the market's kind of in the middle there. So in these slow transition periods, it really depends on what kind of information you're looking at and it's important for these sellers to really be looking at the sale prices and what's going on right now in the market, not six or 12 months ago and what things were looking like then. On the buying side, I'm seeing the issues of buyers hearing that the seller's market is slowing down and assuming that means that it's a strong buyer's market now. That's also not really the case. So what does that mean for these buyers that may be on the extreme on that side? The buyers who believe or overestimate how much of a buyer's market it is are gonna run into problems because they are gonna start going to negotiations with 
longer closing dates, with lower pricing, with all kinds of considerations that they want for themselves that these sellers are not going to be able to justify. And what does that mean? That means that these buyers don't end up getting the properties that they want to get in the current market. And it's a frustrating conversation to have sometimes with buyers who also don't have the up-to-date information about what's going on in the market. So there are implications on both sides, but all I want you to be thinking about right now is that if you are considering getting into the market, get all the information you can. Because if you are competing and trying to negotiate and your perception of the market is off, that's gonna give you a lot of headaches throughout the whole process. So thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I really, really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos from me, feel free to check it out up here. And if you wanna subscribe and not miss next week's video, just click right here. Thank you so much. See you next time.